Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise. This is Dear Designs. This is a weekly vlog. <laughs> um, it is Saturday and what is the time? Quarter to three, or well, twenty to three. Um, and today I have redone my nails. I've done them in this really nice orangey ready colour. Um, but I'm getting like the bug for it. <laughs> I haven't had false nails for quite a while. Obviously places were closed and like now places were closed and I could do my own nails. I've done my own nails for years um, but I was getting lazy towards the end of last year and I started to go to the nail salon um, but now I'm feeling like I want to do my own. So this will be uh, the first time that I've done a refill or an infill um, and yeah I'm really liking this colour and I get more practice um, they're not perfect they're never perfect um, I never really practiced enough to get perfect um, but they will do for me and from a distance I think they look quite nice so yeah <laughs> um, today also I need to try and get the yarn dry so I can skein it up and take pictures and hopefully um, I need to get the listings done for the custom orders on Tuesday. Um, so that's that. Now my phone is ringing, but I'm just about to eat some lunch. Um, and I'm just uploading uh, last week's vlog. So that's about it from me. So I'll catch you up throughout the day or the week. So, excuse the bad lighting, but I thought I'd show you my smart hoop journey. Uh, just a little bit of it. So this is the smart hoop. Excuse my loungewear. I'm at home. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, so this is my hoop. Um, I've lost one link, so I'm using 23 links. I got this from eBay. Uh, it was £20. Uh, but this is how it works. So, basically, I just move from side to side and I'll keep going like this for about five minutes and I really enjoy it. <laughs> So I know the lighting isn't brilliant, but I thought I'd quickly come on and say to you, I have finished a cardigan today. So this will be, um, I will talk about it more in my podcast, uh, which was, would be the video before this one. <laughs> uh, but it is still Saturday and I have finished it. I have made it longer. I haven't steamed it yet. I will steam it afterwards. Um, but... It is finished and it is complete and I'm really happy with it and I absolutely love the buttons Tina has given me to use. So they are like these, they're metal um, and they are really big so it m looks more like a coat type um, cardigan because uh, the orange buttons I used were quite small but it's finished and hopefully she will be pleased with it so that's all good um obviously i just need to steam it so i will do that as and when but i have made sure that all the yarn that i dyed yesterday is dry and i thought i would show you uh so this will be in the shop update that would be uh, friday just gone so if this goes up on saturday or sunday uh Obviously the shop update would have happened, but go and check out the shop just in case there is any left over. Um, and I'm going to show you what is dry basically. Uh, so Casey asked me to do some black and purple uh, variegated speckly yarn. So this is that. I've got three of these. So each of those, of each of these I dyed in um, threes. So I have two that will be going in the shop because obviously Casey uh, wants one and I just think it is so like Halloween-y and spooky, gothic type. It is, it is so lovely um, and it's something that I can repeat because it is literally just black and purple. <laughs> so it's really, really nice. Two of those will be going in the shop. Then we have one of these beautiful red and pinks. It's coming up a little bit orangey on 
the picture that I sent but you can actually tell that that is red um, but yeah red and pink so I have dyed three of these again but only one will be going in the shop uh, it is beautiful it's so lovely it's proper summery um, I think it would make a lovely shawl like one skein shawl or socks or anything these are all uh, four ply 20 uh, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, um, beautiful. Then we have one skein of um, Muted Christmas that will be going into the shop as somebody has requested this. Um, it is red, green and a little bit of grey, just like lightly dusted over with some grey so that I've got one of those. Then we have um, this colourway, which was everything that was left over from me doing the red, the pink, the green, <laughs> um, and anything else that I had left over in pots that I just thought, oh, I'll use that. So I just striped it into this yarn. Uh, so the ends are pink, but slightly different pinks. Doesn't really look it on that one, so let's get this one. Sorry if I'm wobbling you a little bit. Um, so yeah, slightly different pinks. Um, and all three of these will be going in the shop. Uh, they are, It is beautiful. And the way that the pink and the green has mixed, it's brought out this lovely purpley colour. Um, it is more like a turquoisey, greeny blue. Um, you can see where I've stuffed in the... <laughs> not. Um, I try and do that as best as I can but obviously once you uh, unhank it, un untwist it and put it on your skein wind or ball it up however you do it you're gonna cut that anyway uh, but I haven't got names for these um, and I don't know if I'm going to name my yarn anymore or I'm just gonna put it in the shop um, because I'm finding it harder and harder to find names um, if anything springs to mind then I will um, and nine times out of ten the yarn that I do is all uh, one of a kinds so I don't normally repeat colorways unless it's popular and someone asks for it um, for example muted Christmas it's very it's slightly different to the muted Christmas that I had before um, and I've used the same colors I've used the same method um, but obviously it's going to come out slightly different. Um, so yeah, these three will be in the shop as well. So if there is any left over, go and check out my shop. It is linked down below. Uh, it's quarter past seven. Um, Ian's not home yet. He's gone to the garage. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to do. I need to pack up all of the odds and ends for this bag now. So this project bag can now go away as I have finished everything um, I did say that I might make a headband but I'm not sure on what size to do it because obviously I don't know the size of her head <laughs> um, so I don't really know what to do there uh, I might give the cardigan and then if I do decide to make anything I've always got the yarn there and I can just quickly like crochet something up or something um, but yeah, so that is that. This can go in my little odds and sods box. Um, it is chunky, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but we shall see. It's such lovely colours as well, <laughs> and they go together really nicely. Um, there's quite a bit there still, so if you've got any ideas on what to make uh, with this, as I've got like this, this, and this really that I could make something out of um, I don't know how many grams there because I haven't weighed it but there is probably about 50 grams of each colour I don't know maybe maybe not maybe not as much as that <laughs> I don't know I'm just guesstimating uh, but this will be going in my little box and of odds and sods and I can now I've, I've got bits like this but yeah so I'm gonna sort that out and um, sort this yarn out put it away ready to um, get labels on it and everything 
and that's about it so um i will probably see you not today anymore i'm gonna leave today here <laughs> um i'm really tired i don't know why it's probably because i haven't really done much today um i done my nails did i tell you i did my nails i think so i can't remember but i haven't really done much else so i'm gonna also put all of these zip ties away <laughs> cable ties whatever you want to call them and uh, just have a general tidy up and clear my head for the next thing that i'm gonna make i can show you my socks couldn't i quickly as they're just here i have put in the heel of one of them so this is the hobby craft yarn and I uh, went into the blue as I was knitting the heel and uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just knit on this sock until I get to where I want to be for the cuff and then I can then knit on the other one I can knit on the other one anyway because I know I want about 70 rows um, so I might alternate because at the end of the day then I'll have a whole sock to knit so um, but I want to at least get to um, a little bit of the blue that's on the outside you can't even see the green all this here is a different colour to this here <laughs> um, so yeah I think I've got quite a way to go um, but my head is now clear um, I'm so happy I finished that yellow cardigan as well because obviously with commissions it's a little bit different you know that you need to get something done where when it's for yourself you're like I don't want to knit on that no more I want to do something else uh, which I really 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 do want to do with um, the cow that I want to start the colour work cow um, I just I don't know I just want to knit all the things but I'm gonna sit down have a really good think about what I want to work on um, and go from there really so the next time you see me I might have casted on something new might not have done we shall see good evening it is uh, Sunday I haven't picked up the camera today uh, but I have filmed a podcast and that is up um, obviously this will be at the end of the week so uh, but today has been sort of a not really do much kind of day um, Ian went to the garage early this morning, I went Tesco, got the weekly shop, um, then I've come home and I did the podcast, I've sat here, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say, uh, I've been watching YouTube, I have been knitting on my socks, um, I also got um, this out, which is my um, spinning drop spindle thing um i really don't know whether i'm gonna get the hang of it but look at the mess of that and yeah it snapped on me while i was trying it but look how like twisty most of this is it's like really bad so i don't know whether to unwind this um because it kept not breaking on me but it kept like un unhooking uh so i might take it off this and see how much is there it's going to be so lumpy and bumpy um and yeah there is still more fiber so i have all this fiber i have this fiber and then i have a brand new bag of fiber um so this was uh from world of war and this was a kit that i bought um it come with the free um bundles of fibre and the drop spindle with instructions um, but yeah I really don't know what to what to do if anyone's got any suggestions I have watched some YouTube videos before and things I don't know whether I'm twisting it too much um, I know we will have to find out neck on it but I just thought I'd give it a go um I've had this for quite a while so if you remember seeing this from before it's the same one I just literally um wound up the rest of what was on the um this basically the drop spindle but as you can see like it's proper thick and thin um so yeah but every time I was doing this it would slip so 
I don't know if I was doing it right or how many times you have to wrap it around. Like I could do that, that's fine. But then every now and again, I was getting to the stage and it this was slipping round. So it was just going like that and go <laughs> yeah, it was I was getting in a right pickle with it, so um I didn't want to get the ump with it because obviously it might be something I'll go back to in the future and I don't want to get the ump with it. <laughs> so that can go back in the box um, for another day as um, yeah, today is not that day. <coughs> um, I've been drinking lots of juice to try and get my water intake up. Um, I've had dinner so I cooked um, bolognese earlier on thinking Ian would be home earlier. Um, it is only half past seven but he is at the garage with Bills and another friend and one of the machines of like that he's using has gone a bit up the wall so they've taken that apart to try and fix it so Ian said you might as well eat because he don't know what time he's going to be home uh, so I literally had bolognese in a bowl with a flatbread oh my god it was so nice um, I couldn't bother to do spaghetti or pasta or anything so I just thought I would have that and it was really yummy um, so yeah that's what I've had um, I um, doing calorie counting so I'm doing a calorie deficit diet um, I think I've explained this um, and I've still got like 900 calories to eat today so I have just had a um, jelly which is only 10 calories and then throughout this evening I'm going to have a packet of bacon rashers and a 5 to 1 90 bar um, I've been hooping today as well so um, I've done half an hour of hooping, um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that, but I'm watching The Crown as I've caught up with YouTube. I'm a bit lost, I'm on, <coughs> sorry, series three, episode three, I'm a bit lost, so um, I'm going to carry on watching to see if I can sort of remember what's gone on, but I haven't watched it for a few weeks, so yeah, I think I just need to sit down and concentrate on it a bit, but I'm going to knit on my socks. And, um, yeah, I, the reason why I didn't pick up the camera for the rest of the day today after filming my podcast is my battery was low. So I've ha I have put them on charge. They're both uh, charged now. So, yeah, I know that that's done. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to sit here and drink my juice um, and, uh, yeah, watch the, watch the crown. Tomorrow I'm going to Casey's. She's got... She had her second vaccine today which is really really good um and she's got a few orders that she needs to get out um mike's working monday to friday next week so i said i'll go around there and babysit while she does what she needs to do we'll probably get some lunch and whatnot so um yeah but looking forward to seeing the boys casey is actually potty training ollie and he's doing really really well uh so if you're not part of her channel and you don't follow her then um her youtube channel link is down below in the description box so go check out my sister's channel she started vlogging again um but yeah so that's it for today i'm gonna just chill for the rest of the evening wait for Ian to get home warm up his dinner when he gets home <laughs> and um I am still thinking about uh, the next bigger garment that I want to uh, knit or maybe crochet, who knows, but I will be sure to let you know when I know, so I shall see you tomorrow. Hi guys, it's now Thursday, oh, I haven't vlogged, I've been a terrible vlogger, uh, but Casey and Ollie is here today, uh, Casey's car had to go in the garage, so um, I met her there, we went to Morrison's and had some breakfast um, and a coffee um, while we waited for the car, and um, yeah, Mikey is at home with Mike, they're both not very well, so Casey left them both at home, <laughs> uh, but Ollie is just uh, watching Blippi, I'm not really sure, <laughs> on the yeah. iPad. So, in case he's vlogging. Hi guys! Uh, but I just wanted to say that um, Casey made me a cup a little while ago, a Starbucks cup. She sells them in her shop. 
and this is it so it's a color changing travel mug it is so cool i've just put a coffee in there um it is green um but it color changes to pink and she has put all the hearts stickers on and everything so she can personalize um the cups however you want she's got some color changing cold cups in her shop at the moment uh so yeah go check her out if you're interested in that um but yeah other than that i haven't really been up to anything uh went to tina's yesterday um i have uploaded a few bits to her shop um but yeah, that's like really about it. I just want to say thank you to the people that have placed an order this week on my shop. Uh, there will be an update tomorrow of the stuff that I dyed last week. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about it. My hair straighteners um, died on me yesterday. They kept um, making a funny noise. So my hair's a bit fluffy. Um, but uh, I have got GHDs and... Um, Ian took them apart and found out that the wire was broke inside so we have ordered a new wire um, and he said that he's going to replace that. We ordered it off of Amazon so it has come today, <laughs> thankfully, because my hair is just a big, big fluffy fuzz mess. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I've really got anything else to say. Uh, I've just been terrible at vlogging, I think, because when I'm doing this weekly thing, I'm like, oh, I'll just vlog a bit later and then I'll forget. Um, but, yeah, so we're just going to chill for a little while. I'm going to drink my coffee. And um, I have actually... Oh, Casey's going to have a nap. I have actually been working on my wrap, um, the one that I said that is just in the bag because mm, not really into it um but i have been working on it and i've been really enjoying it and i think because everything else is sort of off of my radar like um i gave tina the yellow cardigan yesterday as that was finished um and i can just chill and do what i want to do and not have to think i need this done by that day <laughs> um so yeah i've just been working on that i have a um i keep saying pocahontas it's pinocchio <laughs> I have my Pinocchio um, jumper on today, and oh my god, it is the most comfortablest thing ever. Um, it is like a lounging nighttime whatever jumper. It was from Primark. It was a fiver. I'm wearing it out, and I don't care. So yeah, it's so comfortable. You didn't want that then. I didn't mean to throw it. Look at my mess. Look at the mess. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go. Ian's on a course for the next two days, um, so he probably I don't know what time he'll be home and what time he'll be finished and whatever. So the weather's still rubbish, really rubbish. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my coffee. That looks like strawberry milkshake. <laughs> and um, yeah, so go check out Casey's shop if you're interested in colour changing cups. Hi guys, it's now Saturday. Uh, I do apologise for this really rubbish weekly vlog. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but today is Saturday, Ian's gone to the garage and I've decided to pull out all of my yarn. So this is not all of it, but this is majority of it. Uh, so I have three of these great big boxes here, like the Ikea boxes. There's one there and there's one on top and then I have three of these boxes that sit on top of my wardrobe i do also have a great big massive clear box up in the loft as well which is full of yarn um and i've also got my sock yarn and hanks or skeins um over on the shelf that i'm not going to be touching today because it's just mainly this that i want to sort out um and i just sat here and thought it really really needs doing uh i've got yarn sort of here there and everywhere that needs to be put together basically so like I know what I've I've at least got because it's just like oh my god <laughs> I have one box in here full of yarn I have two boxes in the new white unit in the bedroom and then I've got these boxes here and also one of the boxes in the bedroom in the unit is got the undyed yarn that I dye so yeah I've got yarn pretty much everywhere <laughs> uh so i just want to sort it out see what i've got um 
and just go for it basically because I'm sort of in limbo on what I want to make at the moment so I thought going through my yarn might be a good opportunity for me to think oh I could use this to make something I can use that to make something um so that is what I'm doing today I'm gonna end the vlog later on today um I know I normally do um, Saturday to Friday but I haven't really vlogged that much um I'm probably gonna take next week off of vlogging I'm not 100% sure yet uh just because I'm finding that I'm really not picking up the camera as much as I should be uh but we'll see how that goes we'll see if I feel like I want to have a break then I will if there is a vlog next week there will be a vlog next week um but I have been working a lot on my wrap so I have managed to put all of this purple in and then I'm into the next color which is this blue and then there's four colors left after this so it's very nearly finished and I've really really been enjoying working on it um so yeah it's very nearly finished it is very long so this is me holding it half so yeah it is very long um I don't know whether I'm going to sew it into one long circle or just leave it as a scarf yet um and I also want to obviously block it out so it's wider and not curling up as much uh so that's going to be a challenge when i come to that uh, i might just have to do like a section at a time and hopefully if the weather's nice i'll be able to do it outside and just take like a water bottle out with me and pin it out wait for it to dry and then pin it out the next part um because i don't think i've got enough of my blocking boards to do the whole length so i'll probably take like two down and do it that way so yeah this is my plan for today. I will uh, let you know how I get on. Um, but yeah, so I need people to nudge me and say, Denise, are you vlogging today? Because <laughs> I just forget. Um, Casey was around Thursday. That was the last time I vlogged. Her car was, f it came back fine. Um, we just sort of chilled for the afternoon. Ollie was so sweet. He was going, I'm baby Yaya. I'm baby Yaya. Because <laughs> we call him Yaya. It's just a nickname. Mikey started calling him Yaya -ya, and it just sort of stuck um so yeah that it was really really cute Mikey is feeling a little bit better uh, I've spoken to Casey yesterday and today um he's feeling a little bit better which is good um and fingers crossed touch wood and all that <clears throat> Ollie hasn't got the cold that Mikey had so yeah that's that's all good um yesterday we picked Ian's car up from the garage this is one reason why I didn't vlog yesterday we picked Ian's car up from the garage we left here about half one might have been a bit later than that two maybe um and we had to go to um Camberwell Road if anyone knows London at all so it's South London just past Tower Bridge um and we had and that is where Ian's car was anyway it took us four and a half hours because the Dartford Bridge was closed due to high winds um so if you're not in the UK Dartford Bridge is um a toll bridge so you have to pay to go over it um and it only goes one way there's tunnels that come the other way so to go from Essex to Kent you go over the bridge to go from Kent to Essex you go through the tunnels um, and yeah that is just how it was um, it's a toll bridge because it was the Queen Elizabeth bridge and it was to pay for the bridge and whatever anyway cut a long story short it was shut and then we have in between that and the next crossover for the Thames we have uh, Woolwich Ferry which is a very small little boat that you can drive on and it takes you over but due to high winds that was shut too <laughs> then the next thing um, well the next crossover is Blackwall Tunnel and oh my goodness it took us about two hours and 20 minutes to get from our house here um, which is in Chinkford, all the way down to, is it Lambeth? I don't think it's, it might be Lambeth. I can't really remember, to be honest. Uh, let me just <coughs> have a look. 
have a look. Um, because I'd rather you know. <laughs> Is it Lambeth? Um, Kennington and all that area. Yeah, I've just got it on the map now. Um, so it's... It's near Camberwell, basically. So Southwark and that sort of area. <coughs> and, um, yeah, so it should have only taken us, like... 40 minutes um but yeah it took that long and we were just sat in standstill traffic because obviously everything that needed to get over the bridge was coming down this way to get through the tunnel and the traffic was just oh my god horrendous and even on the way back um it was horrendous so all in all it took us like four and a half hours to get there and back and literally it was, it was, I could understand if Ian was talking to him, because it, it's someone that Ian knows that he took it to. He was talking to him, and like he, we was there for an hour or whatever. We was literally in and out, because he was busy anyway. But, oh, God. It was crazy. Got home, and we ordered Chinese, because I was like, I cannot cook. I can't be bothered. Uh, yesterday was weigh day as well, um, and I lost uh, two pounds. So that was really, really good. Uh, really, really happy with that. Um, I have been eating some delicious food this week. So to lose is still really good. I've been hooping still. I'm going to do some a bit later on. Um, I found a new channel on Sky. I don't know whether any of you um, watch this or anything. But again, if you're in the UK, uh, on Sky on channel 670, um, the actual channel is called... Um, hold on <laughs> uh gem gemporia craft and it's like sewing street and um yarn lane i'm just trying to see around the boxes uh so sewing street and yarn lane so they do shows where um they show knitting product projects crochet projects and sewing so it's a little bit like qvc but for us crafters. Now there's another one that I do occasionally watch it, which um, Tina watches as well, which is Jewelry Maker. And they sell all the beads and the wire and everything to basically handmade jewelry, to make handmade jewelry. But this one, let me just show you the telly. I know it's gonna flicker a little bit. Uh, but so they're basically selling this um, knitting pattern. This is the lady that owns I, I Knit, design or I knit design this is the presenter um, he's been on so many different presenty programs uh, but as you can see it's all yarn and everything so they're showing you how to knit basically um, it's a little bit I don't know <laughs> some of it is is a little bit like I already know how to do this uh, but it's all right in the background it's only for an hour uh, 12 till 1 today uh, but they do have like um, you can go on and see when the yarny ones are on and they do like sewing so like fabrics and all different bits and pieces so if anyone is interested I thought I would let you know um, it's not something that I'm gonna keep watching just because I think it will be quite repetitive um, so yeah I've made myself a coffee and I'm going to get started to sort this out. Um, so wish me luck. So I have sorted out the bits and pieces. Uh, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to bring the uh, natural or my stock yarn into here and put it into this unit and then I will be able to put both, all three boxes of yarn into the unit in the bedroom. This is what we've got so far. Uh, this is just all double knit yarn uh, that goes all the way to the bottom. Uh, here is packs of yarn. Oh, I really don't know why this keeps going funny. This is um, packs of yarn and um, double knit as well, I think. Uh, yeah, so that's all double knit as well. Then up the end there, we have some um, chunky yarn, Aran yarn. Uh, it's a mixture, really, and a little bit of, like, uh, Burnett blanket type yarn that Casey bought me last year. And then in this box that goes above the wardrobe is mostly Aran so all Aran in here Aldi Aran um, 
Warcraft Aran, more Aldi Aran, um, and this one's just a double knit, but it is bright, not even showing up right on colour, uh, on camera, it is the brightest orange you will ever see, and then these two boxes here, this one is absolutely full of Burnett Blanket type yarn, and then this one is like all my odds and ends really, so um, not full balls or anything like that, so... That is the yarn that I've got down here, up in the loft. I've got another big box. Uh, but I have pulled out some yarn that I want to start working on. So, oh, not this. I need to find somewhere for this now. Um, I have pulled out this yarn that I got from Pound Stretcher. Uh, when Pound Stretcher near, my sister was closing down. It was um, originally 2 99 but I think they had like a percentage off. Um, and it was really, really cheap. It's called Poodle Knitting Yarn, and it is the softest yarn ever. Um, so I might make a cowl out of this, as I think that in the winter this will be absolutely glorious to wear. Um, and it's grey, so it will go with any anything that I actually wear. So that is one thing that I've pulled out. Uh, the next thing that I've pulled out is this yarn, which was from Lolly's Little Wool Shack. Um, I have made a um, poncho type thing with this yarn, but it was grey with blue, no, it, yeah, grey with blue spots, or gr like fluff, where this is pink with the blue fluff. Um, and I thought this might make a nice top or something. Um, I don't know, I'm going to have a look for patterns, and if I don't find anything, I don't find anything. Uh, but these two yarns, I just thought, yeah, I'll pull them out, see... If anything tickles my fancy, um, and then we're gonna go. Then I'm gonna go from there, really. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether I will start making anything, <laughs> or I will just carry on knitting on this. Um, I did find some peel-off masks in one of the boxes, which was a bit odd. But obviously, I stashed them in there and forgot about them, so I will put them in the bathroom. And uh, yeah, so that is what. I've got so far and at least all my yarn will be in the bedroom then other than obviously the undyed and what's in the loft uh, but I want to use my stash I want to get some of these boxes down as much as I can um, and there are more um, more colour work things that I want to do so I think that will be good for me getting some odds and sods down and that um, I am still in the mindset of um, knitting some baby hats for the winter to donate. Um, so in the top of that odds and sods box, I've just put a uh, yarn that I want to make hats out of. Um, whether that's knitting or crochet, whatever I fancy at the time. But that is <laughs> that is about it. I'm going to put these away now. Um, it is only half past one, but I'm going to put these away um, and have a look online to see if I can see any patterns. I know a lot of people, or I, not that I know a lot of people, but I know people have said, other people <laughs> have had trouble with Ravelry. Um, I don't have any trouble with Ravelry, so I will still use Ravelry. Um, most of my links down below, if I do link anything in my videos, um, will come from Ravelry. Um, so if you've got any problems with Ravelry and you want to know a pattern or anything, then let me know because then I can always um, have a look elsewhere for it um, or contact the designer or whatever and see if they have their pa patterns anywhere else. So, but yeah, so I'm just going to put these away, chill out for the rest of the day. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. Sorry, it's been really sort of random-ish, uh, but yeah. That's pretty much all I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to do some hooping. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to see if I fancy vlogging next week as well. well. We'll just have to wait and see. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you're all well. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye for now.